Okay. Okay, so with using the hints and looking at each of these pictures, I think I have figured it out. So the first hint, each eye sees a word that is part of a definition. So there's one eye going this way. If I look at the art long enough right here, the word song is in there. So that's the first one. If I go to two, which is right here, which actually threw me off. If this is correct, it threw me off because that's eh, there's a bird. It's just facing directly towards the bird. But no, the eyes are actually supposed to be going this way. They're actually lined up to like, they're actually lined up and they say a word. It says designed. I'll leave it up there for a second, so in case somebody watching this wants to look long enough at it to see it. Or you can pause it, either way. So, song designed. Okay, so number three. It's looking at that. And it actually makes four. And then if we go over to this one. And it's uh, the thing says two. Now, put those together, it's a song designed for two. The only thing I can think of is what do you call a two person song? Call it a duet! Good job. You're getting there. As a reminder, you must complete the panel of tests in its entirety to traditional emotional trauma and in rare cases, total memory failure. Oh. Okay. Ah. Oh my god. That's amazing. Congratulations. You've completed the initial calibration. Congratulations. Oh. You may now access the second floor. You will likely notice the difficulty begin to ramp up at this stage, but don't let it discourage you. When, when, when you're frustrated and ready to give up, I implore you to look again to adjust your perspective. There. I've established a secure patch, but I can't seem to hear you at all. It's a shame. I could use the company. But someone to listen and, and to help is really more than I hoped for. I'm still trying to piece things together, but I have the vague sensation that I built this place. Um, I don't know what that means. Things are so foggy still. So much to do. Just, just keeping those panels uh, and give me some time. I'll check back in the first chance I get. And thank you. You couldn't possibly. Okay, so real quick, I all I I am all of a sudden seeing things now. Like these things are lining up in ways that I'm not understanding. Um, this door is not open, and we have another key, as far as I'm aware. Oh my god, those all keys? Okay, so pro- okay, progress is sit- oh, really? Come on now. Gonna put me- Oh ho ho! Nothing? It's gonna be used for something, otherwise, because otherwise, I don't know. I gotta remember that. Okay. 
So, we're not gonna go upstairs just yet. Because we have another key. Because we have not opened the office. Okay. What the hell? Where'd the letter go? Okay, well, I... Never mind. I guess I'm wrong. I could have sworn I had another key. So I guess we're going upstairs. We'll get to that eventually, I guess. Um, okay, we're up here now. Romeo and Juliet. Key! Ha <laughs> The study. Okay, if I was actually supposed to... I hope the keys go to specific doors. If not, I'm kind of screwed. Okay, the clock is blinking 5.30. There's another portrait in here. Um, a clock right there. A clock with letters. Empty box, it seems, with a barcode. Post Meridian. Wait a minute. There's a star. Post Meridian. Ante Meridian. Okay. Meeting Tuesday evening at 10 after 5. Uh. Itinerary. AM, AM. Nothing to do with these books, right? Why is it so dark in here? This is annoying. What the hell? Oh. Okay, no wonder there's a clock in here. So this is a puzzle to do with time? Oh. <laughs> okay, so the little hand is on... Let's see if I can't quickly jog my mind with anything. Get your schedule in order. Light in the AM, darkness in the PM. Six clocks. Reveal the clue to the word you need. Okay, so there's six clocks. Oh. So maybe it goes either way based on that leaf. I look at it from the dark and I look at it from the light. 
let's let's figure out the other clocks first. So there's. Ante Meridium, Post Meridium. Fifteen forty. Is that? Wait, this I never looked at this box. Okay, so this clock says To the third notch. It's one, two. So it's at nine. So it's nine. Nine oh five. Okay, so here, we got a clock that says... A clock that says 5.30. A clock that I think says 9.05. Or, wait, no. Yeah, yeah, five. This clock says seven, seven fifty five. This one says 1540, which I'm going to I'm going to assume is another clock, like uh, like army time. So I'll mark that down. Whoops. 1540. 1540. Um, my timer is about to go off, so I think I'll fi I'll figure this out a little bit, and I will come back. Okay. Okay, so after a lot, after a decent amount of time and a small break, I think I finally, I think I finally found some semblance. So, 
So, okay, the first, okay, so first of all, and I, I, if I'm correct, I'm gonna go through with the rest of it here. So the first hint, six clocks reveal the clue to the word you need. Okay, well there's six clocks in here. Not counting the one with the letters. There's one right there. There's a notepad here that says Tuesday evening at 10 after five. There's a calculator here that says 1540. An alarm that says 530. A clock in this box, which I think can only be read as 955, no, 905, sorry. And, oh. And the, um, this leaf and dial up here, when lined up with the sun, it says 9.55. Now, I'm, I'm stupid. It's 1.0, it's 1.55. I've, I've got all the stuff written down, and I'm just, I'm just bad. Okay. So the next hint, get your schedule in order. It's listed by. Th it's there's a list right here. There's three a.m.s and three p.m.s. So put all of those times in order. And light in the a.m., darkness in the p.m. That's what these de that's what these drawers right here are trying to tell you. Post meridium, and ante meridium. There's also a star in here. So post would be nighttime. Ante would be morning. This clock, this clock, and this clock are all in the morning, whereas this one, this one, and this one are in the nights. Now, therefore, if I take all of those times and put them on this clock. So I've tried first of all just going from the end of the time, which now that I think about it doesn't make all this doesn't make all that much sense. It didn't really make a word. But if I put them all from first digit and second digit. So the first one is So the first one is 155. 1 is U, 55 is G. 5.30 5 is L Y is uh, 30 is Y 9.05 9 is D and 05 and 5 is U and 05 is U now okay I stopped halfway because I was getting to something. So, 340, which is 1540 military time. Is... Okay, so 3... Three is C. 40 is K five ten. So we got five being L, ten is I. Okay, last one, seven fifty five. Seven is N, fifty five is G. One fifty five is UG, five thirty is I L Y, nine zero five is D U, three forty is C K, L I is Oh, did I not capitalize that one? 
It's gonna bother me otherwise. Five ten is L I and seven fifty five is N G. What is all of that spell? Ugly duckling. Oh, I think that's the one I was looking for. Hold on. Six clocks reveal the clue to the word you need. Now, I think we need to go else. I think we, because in order to get that key, we had, so I think we gotta go actually go up. I can't speak. I really can't. Romeo and Juliet. So we haven't really explored up here yet. Oh. Interesting. Analy analytics. going on a blank book by nobody not suspicious what are these there's keyholes on random things Was the answer in there? I stuck here. Unless what's this way? Oh my god, there's more books in there. It's a three pronged key. Ring. Oh! The game room. See, I told you I had a key to somewhere. Hangman. Connect four. Checkers. Tic tac toe. Darts. More chairs knocked over. Hey, playing cards. Rodent trap. Game with half the pieces missing. <laughs> Trivial chase. War boats. Checkers. Four in a row. Buell Veretta. Money play. Bell. Okay. Well, none, none of these... Six clocks reveal the clue to the word you need. Ugly duckling, ugly duckling, ugly duckling, ugly duckling, ugly duckling. Ugly duckling, ugly duckling, ugly duckling, ugly duckling. Okay, so we're gonna try a couple. We're gonna try to do two different ideas first.
Okay, it's not ugly and it's not duck. <gasps> Wait a minute. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Um, Okay, that wasn't it. That was a really, that was a smidge of a stretch. I looked up the ugly duckling and it came up Hans Christian Anderson. Timer's almost up again. I'm gonna look around the house once more. Okay, so you know what? I'm actually gonna. I'm actually just gonna end the clip here again. And be back when hopefully uh, I figure out something. Okay. Um. Real quick. So I. I mean, this clip's gonna obviously go up right after. But uh, I have not figured out Ugly Duckling yet. Um, what I'm going to do is is I'm just gonna simply hold off on figuring out this one. I'm gonna go figure out other puzzles because you do kind of you do unlock the upstairs and then you come back down to this one because I clearly got the door from upstairs so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go upstairs figure out other puzzles open more rooms and maybe just maybe the answer there will be a book called The Ugly Ducking Upstairs. Other than that, other than that I'm not entirely sure. So therefore, let's go ahead and go up here. Um, I opened a couple rooms. 
Yeah, there's no books here called the Ugly Duckling. There's Romeo and Juliet. Yeah, let's just work this room out. So, it's a math equation. Or there's math equations. So, we're gonna leave the ugly duckling spot alone. Create a new spot down below. There are statues as well. So, I don't understand the significance a blank book by nobody I don't understand that unless it actually has significance then I don't know equals A, 4 equals B, 9 equals E. Okay. 9, 9, no. This one's going to probably be actually tricky. So with blue minus yellow Oh, is that division? Or is that how much equal? Oh, I think. I don't know. Is I I actually I honestly actually don't know if that's. Now I'm gonna say the way it's set up. I'm gonna say that's what it equals up to. different amount of question marks for each one. Blue minus yellow. So... Let's let's just drop the hint already. Let's. Uh, I mean, I mean, I don't think we're getting penalized for any of this. I would assume, right? Why is that a lowercase? These objects can be spelled using the same ten letters. So there's 10 letters in total. If we say there's 10 letters in total, then...
I'm, I'm, you know, I'm just gonna mark it down on my phone. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and zero. Yeah, I'm just gonna recreate this table right here in here. Whoops, that's not it. And... E is 9, 4 is B, and 2 is A. So other letters that we found that haven't been put in yet are C and U. These objects can be spelled using the same ten letters. Cat might check out. Bull might check out. B and U already check out. Duck? Eel, B, hmm. I'm going to say that Because what am I? Okay, cube is red. Okay. Blue minus yellow. E, C, and you. So. What? Orange. What is orange? Okay, so they don't all have to be four letter words. Purple equals lock. Let me just let me just for stupid reasons try that. I highly doubt it's going to do that, but let me just... Okay. 
wasn't it wasn't duck. It was worth it was the worth a shot. Does this does you see something? No, it's not usable. Dang. Sorry about that. <gasps> Wait a minute. White and white equals gray. That's set up right there. That's oh my god, that's um So if that's eel, the nine, the nine is, oh wait, nine's already E, it's not about, okay, L. Plus K equals Q. There. So bull versus book equals K or cat. Oh my God. Okay, 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 okay. I'm gonna. Oh god, I think this, this could have taken too long and I don't want to make so... I've already made so many clips of this. This is gonna be like a two or three part series. <laughs> oh no. This is how you make content. Okay. I'm gonna cut it here again. Figure all this out and then come back with the details. Duck is all seven one five. Wait a minute.
seven goes the other way. I have a play. Oh my god. It's working. I don't know how, but it's working. Each time you solve a panel, I can feel a piece of my mind returning. Uh, taking form. The fog is slowly lifting. I can remember now that I made this island to assist people. To help them. But why am I here? What went wrong? Why does everything feel familiar and completely new at the same time? I don't know. Either way... Data breach detected. Apologies for the interruption. An outside force seems to have invaded this partition. Please ignore and continue the simulation. Okay, so... Okay, so given the fact that... Um... I didn't restart the clip, or I didn't announce- I didn't- I, re I didn't really announce it. And the fact that the cut- and the fact- the fact that the, th the stuff went through, because I wasn't thinking. Um, I'm just gonna just end the clip early. And see where we go from there. Okay, so... God, this is- This- Took a smidge of trial and error, this got- this went a lot- it's, it's a little more difficult than I expected it to be. It is math, though, so... Ugh. Either way, I'm just gonna give... a oh, silo? Interesting. So basically you have to match up the numbers with letters and there's only 10 letters in total and they can all be used to spell these. I'm not going to explain the full puzzle in case someone watches it in the future. Let them figure out the math themselves. Are you not here better yet? I'll just... Um... It was the last hint that really did it. It was like some letters look like numbers. So there you go. Ultimately, if you go to look into it, uh, those four numbers are going to be that that that's duck right there. Your duck is O seven one five. So match that up with over here. Because it says, it says purple is the unlock. So purple, yeah. So match up O being seven. Or wait, no, yeah, wait. D being O. No, D, B, D being zero, I'm sorry, Christ, I lied. D is zero. Uh, U is seven. C is one, and K is five. Oh, well, now it doesn't matter if I explain it or not now, because I just gave the answer. Oh. Apologies. Okay, whatever. That's... God, that was a lot of note-taking. I honestly... I whipped out a calculator. I whipped out a calculator. I whipped out... I used the notepad to mark the letters, and I've got an actual, like, pen and paper here. 
the amount of work that's going into this map is... Good lord. At least these videos don't take much editing. I mean, it'll be a fat video, but honest, but I mean still. Okay. <laughs> Next up, the game room. So... What do I gotta figure? Okay, it's O's turn. Oh, okay, so O can go right there and win the game. So... Tic-tac-toe doesn't necessarily... Okay, hold up. Because I, I actually don't necessarily know what I'm supposed to be... In checkers, you can jump multiple times in a row. Okay. One, two, three. Winning each game reveals or forms a letter in some way. Winning four in a row makes the shape of a Y. Okay, well thank you for at least telling me that one. I don't know if I would have gotten that one. I might have. Okay, so go from this angle. game makes a letter in some way. So the O's... I honestly can't say for certain what that would be. Let me... God, this is goofy. I'm literally making a game of tic tac -toe. <laughs> Oh no. Okay. So what is... So let's write this one. This one is... Like that, like that, and like that. So if I go from here, 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 and here. Okay, uh, okay, that looks like an S. So I'm gonna say the fourth letter is S. It already told us that connect four was Y. Okay, we're missing 
the first two letters still. So, right out. Just make myself a game of tic tac toe. Here, you know what, um, cause I don't know how far I'm gonna cut the last clip, so I'm just gonna make a cut real quick. Uh, 